Hello and welcome to this week's NPL. Chris Titmar from Triple M with you and my special guest, the man they call Kara. Harry Karamides, how are you, mate? Good man, you? Yeah, good, no worries. You're a club legend, you don't look that old. People tell me you are a club legend. You've been there, how many years have you been there? Uh, I've lost count, it's probably more than 17. I think it's about 18 years. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do your research, I, I know more than you do. It's unbelievable. Now, what, tell me about mum. I see mum at the games, wears the whole Comets gear, yeah. yelling, screaming for the Comets. Yeah, She's well, a passionate supporter. It's her and her sister, they're both yeah. always there, <laughs> always screaming. Yeah. And you can definitely hear hear both of them, but yeah, yeah mum's always been supporting me <laughs> since the start, so yeah. yeah, she loves it. But a lot of your family's involved at the club, aren't they? Yeah, well, from the start, yeah, dad's been involved from the start. My brother coaches now. Mum, obviously a fan, and myself playing yep. and coaching as well, so yep. yeah, we're very into it. Yeah, right. How old are you now? Uh, 23. Okay, so really, that's just been your club. I was going to ask you about your soccer journey, but it's always been at Comets. Yeah, from age of five in under yeah. eights, just all the way up through the age groups. And, yeah, right. Yep. Um, how old were you when you got your first game in the first team? Uh, 19, my first substitute, and then I think 20 for my first start. Yeah. And who was that under? Who was the coach? Um, Theo. Yep. So yeah, I broke in sort of under Jim Karatsas, and then... Um, when Theo came in, he gave me my first yep. opportunity. Good. Um, not a great year as far as that's concerned. It's always sad when we see a coach go, but Theo left a couple of rounds into the season, and then it's actually been very, very good, hasn't it? I think won about seven games in a row. Yeah. Well, when Con's come in, everyone's responded well to sort of how he's coaching. But, I mean, Theo was with us for three and a half years, mm -hmm. and he was really good, and then, I guess, time came up, and then... Yeah, sort of the boys are ready for a change and now that Con is in and he's sort of shook things up and we're sort of loving it at the moment. Yep. So, I mean, can't really complain with the results yeah. uh, and goals and things like that. So, yeah, we're all happy. Um, up front, uh, Andreas Veen scored on the weekend. You drew 1-1 with West Adelaide, but I've seen he's been getting on the score sheet again this yeah. year. He seems as though he's been a bit of a rejuvenated player. Yeah, he's definitely back. Like, it could be sort of um, the way we're playing or just his... Um, sort of mental state, but yep. he's firing at the moment and we're yep. loving it. Yeah, I mean, all right. He's scoring everything, so. As I said, a 1-1 draw on the weekend. Let's have a look at the other results. So Metro had a good win, 4-1 over Para Hills. See where they uh, they got beaten in the cup by Elizabeth Downs. What do you know about them? I hear that they're very strong and I saw videos of their game. They've got massive crowds, so definitely an intimidating opponent to come up against. Yeah, for sure. Now, obviously, Metro had some players out that night. They got them back on the weekend for this 4-1 win. Let's have a look at one of Dylan Smith's goals, an absolute cracker from long range. Croydon beat Adelaide City 2-0 uh, and Adelaide City, I know they had all those points taken away from them but they are struggling to get out of that relegation zone but they are not that bad surely. I mean yeah they've had a lot of changes in terms of obviously coach and then heaps of new players coming in so it was always going to be difficult but yeah, I mean, I didn't really expect them to be still, are they second to bottom? Mm. Yeah, sort of this yeah. way through the season, so yeah. surprising. Uh, Campbelltown, top of the ladder, and they deserve it. The way they've played over the last few weeks, they beat Blue Eagles 2-0. You played Campbelltown a fortnight ago. They were very, very good, weren't they? Yeah, and that was the first team we came up against and thought they actually outplayed us. Yep. So they are the team to beat. They're very good on paper and on the field, so definitely the benchmark. All right, let's have a look at the player votes for the Triple M Player of the Year and all thanks to James Threadgold Jewelers for that wonderful Tag Hoyer watch. So just looking down the games, we mentioned Dylan Smith's goal, but uh, he got maximum votes from both coaches, which is great. Klimek getting votes from both coaches as well, so you'll see him on the leaderboard in just a moment. Another three-vote game for Hamish McCabe. In fact, let's go to the leaderboard now, and you'll see that he is way out in front. So Hamish McCabe on 38, Klimek and Dylan Smith 21. And Liam Wooding still getting votes, even though uh, South Adelaide are getting beaten at the moment. He's getting votes each and every week. In your game, Adam LaCorn, you two votes. Now, at the start of the season, he had to fight to get a spot in the side. He is a gun defender, isn't he? Yeah, he's an animal. We all say he's probably the best one-on-one -on -one defender in the league. You just can't yeah. get past him, pretty yeah. much. He's, he's a, a gun defender, unlike Tom Dittmar, who you have to play against most weeks. Gee, you must have your heart in your mouth having to cover for him, surely. Yeah, Tom's a different story. Yeah. As lucky, lucky adds next to him, so yeah. you can sort of back him up. But yeah. So um, right, and you, you have to mop up from time to time. You have to work overtime back there. Yeah. Yeah, I feel for you, I really do. All right, let's have a look at the games this week. South Adelaide, Adelaide City. Now, as far as points go, relegation, that is a real vital game. Yeah, definitely. And you wouldn't expect that to be a relegation game, but... No. Um, and South Adelaide are definitely hard to play against. We struggled against them both times, so that's definitely an interesting one yep, away so as well. Friday night game, yeah. Metro, Blue Eagles, that's a real good game all of a sudden as well. Metro back on the winner's list. Uh, West Adelaide, Campbelltown. West Adelaide need points desperately. Parry Hills and Raiders, that's an even game. 
Yeah, is that at the paddocks? Yeah, I mean, yeah. always Parra Hills at home are always a tough game, and Raiders are definitely going to be looking to win and keep their form up. All right, you boys have got Croydon. What do you think of Croydon? They've got a bit of a new team, like a young team this year, and they started really well. Then I guess they've been a bit up and down since then, but I know a few of the players there, and they've definitely got quality players. So it'll be interesting. It'll be a good game. Mm, all right. And Olympic take on Adelaide United. They've lost four games in a row, Adelaide United. They need to get a win as well. Harry, thanks for coming in, mate. Good Cheers. luck against Croydon. Kick the ball to Tom a couple of times. Give him some confidence. Get him into the game and, you know, hopefully you'll lift. All right? Yeah. All Cheers. right. Good on you, mate. And this week, it's all thanks to Osgo. Enjoy this weekend at the NPL.